before i mention about the certification names 78% of the technology executives and the managers consider technical certifications as a critical success factor and many of the top companies are also looking for certifications to make the hiring decisions so the first certification to become a highly paid network engineer is ccna because everyone will start their career from ccna and once you become ccna certified so you can explore many opportunities but ccna is not enough to get a highly paid jobs into networking but yes it's, it's a good to start you cannot jump into professional level so ccna is a certification from cisco and the exam cost is 300 dollars if you are from india there is a gst on it and uh, this is going to be one attempt so you will not get second attempt if you fail the exam so choose your learning partner wisely so i would recommend you to check our training programs to join the ccna programs it depends on how many hours you are learning per day so within 2 3 months i think people can become ccna certified with a good knowledge if they are from it background yeah so the second certification is ccnp enterprise first you have to go for ccna training or ccna knowledge then you can jump on to ccnp enterprise So if you check CCNP has a uh, multiple tracks like one is uh, Encore, NRC, SD WAN. So in short, you have one main exam which is called Encore. Then there is another concentration exams which are optional. So if you want to become full CCNP certified, you have to give two exam. Okay, so you can consult our my team also for career gu- guidance. Okay, you can uh, check the description. and you can find the contact details so yes the first exam is called core exam which is 400 dollars and you have to give the concentration exam which is 300 dollars so in in short if you want to become a ccnp which is a network professional certification this is going to be the hash one certification okay so the third certification i would recommend because like if you go to any company okay many many of the company organizations they have a lot of cisco devices and still cisco security is on the right track so ccnp security is similar to enterprise but you cannot directly jump to ccnp security because i have seen if you go to ccnp security directly you will not be having a good exposure of understanding the routing switching part because if you want to build a network you need to very good at the enterprise level and then you can add the security into your course so many student they can go for ccnp security after ccna also but if you ask according to my recommendation and according to my 11 years experience i would recommend you to go with ccnp security after ccnp enterprise okay so that you will be familiar with all the routing switching concepts and then you can jump on to ccnp security where you will learn about asa firewall ftd firewall you will understand about the vpn how to connect multiple locations together there is a ais also identity service engine okay so it has also main module again you have to clear two exam one is core and one is concentration exam 400 dollars again for core and again 300 dollar for concentration okay this is the top certification which is recommended and this is on the lower cost also but you cannot jump the certification so i would recommend you to go for vcp but you ha- there are multiple uh, things for vcp so vcp stand for vmware certified professional that you are going to build virtual networks inside the servers and this is very popular because all the clouds are working on network virtualization so vcp network virtualization is the top certification if you go for vcp nv which is called a network virtualization you will be on very good salary but yes you cannot jump again to directly nv yes you do not need cisco certification you can go for vcta then vcp vcta is a associate level and vcp is a professional level like ccna ccnp but the only drawback of this certification that you cannot self learn this course you have to learn this from partner 
okay so networking is one of the vmware partner if you want to go ahead with these uh, vct and vcp network virtualization so you can connect with the team solution architect is also a good certification but i am more specific to the network part to learn this course you have to learn the basic aws solution associate program also but yes you can directly give this exam which is called aws certified advanced networking specialist where you will learn about some vpn now you can see in this course we have to learn about mpls vpls stuff which is part of like you will understand this concept into ccnp enterprise if you do not want to go for aws certified advanced networking there is a alternate of that that is called google cloud security professional just to add azure also has network specialist certification so if you want to skip aws networking certification there is a azure certification for networking also so aws azure google is like all brothers and sisters just technology is same so just it totally depends which cloud is more popular in the market so aws is more popular this is why i have chosen this certification into the top category so once you have this knowledge guys now this is the time to go for cci i would recommend you to go for cci but there is a, there should be a proper way there should be a proper knowledge because if you want to call yourself as cci which is expert level but if you are not good at the expert level and you do not know about the multi knowledge so companies are even if you are cci you will not get salary according to cci and the the drawback of this certification is that it's very costly if you are a beginner and if you are paying for 1600 dollar and if you get fail then because you get only one chance these are additional certifications good to have in your resume but these are not highly valued in the market right now if somebody if company is paying for these certifications okay so then definitely go for it but if you have knowledge of these programs still it is good to go so these are bonus certifications you could have if you are beginner you can go for comptia network plus before ccna you can add palo alto firewall certification into your resume but again the problem also with these certification they will get expire you can give jncii exam in just 50 dollars so this is very highly value for money if you are getting this exam in 50 dollar below 100 dollars then it is a good certification to go for so fortigate checkpoint is also good certification you can have into your resume f5 ltm but yes knowledge is required for these things also palo alto juniper fortigate f5 ltm which is again the top load balancer and now this certification is also in going in very good demand so if you really loved this video you can just uh, put thumbs up and share with your uh, friends and colleagues okay so thank you everyone